facts about your Premier League team you need to accept part three. So we've got Crystal Palace. You don't really hear, we don't really hear much of you nowadays, but Roy Hodgson, Hodgson did come up from the depths of, did come up from the depths, I can't speak, depths of retirement to save you from a relegation battle. So, I suppose so, but don't really hear much of you. Chelsea, one below Crystal Palace, it used to be really good, but Frank Lampard's not really doing much, is he? Because you're twelve, you know, you have to scroll down to see you. You didn't, uh, you didn't, you know, a few year, a few months back. So you basically had a crap season, do you me? Wolves, well, I mean, Wolves has not never been first. Uh, again, you don't hear much of them. Um, well, I know you might think, oh, no, they're in the mid-table, that's why. But, uh, yeah, they've got some talent. They've got a good stadium. They're just not very well heard, uh, well known of uh, nowadays. Then we have West Ham. Now, West Ham lost to us... Um, a few weeks back. I know I keep referring back to matches, but anyway. And I mean, yes, West Ham is uh, good, but they're not doing the best, to be honest, because um, you know, again, they're mid table. You don't hear much of them. They, they were 15th, but now they've gone down to 14th. So they've, they've you know, they've come somewhere in this season, but. You know, they've not been the best. They've not been at the best. Uh, at Clint Rice is... I don't think he's been playing that much, has he, this season, to be honest. Bournemouth. I mean, you were below Southampton um, last year, but then you went on this winning streak and started scoring loads of goals. So now you're 15. So still a bit of a low-down place, you know, mid-table. But who knows? One day they could come come back up again. 